All right, guys, just a little update. Uh, I've been driving the car around a little while, so I've got a couple more mods I've done. Um, first thing I just want to show you, I'm doing shifter linkage adjustment down there. You can see it. Um, I had it set right there, and I pushed it all the way over. I got really used to that. That wasn't much of a difference. And now the linkage is come. It's real short. Um, Talk about a short row shift. So, I mean, <laughs> that's 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 pretty damn short. That, it's gonna take a little getting used to, but I got my ECU going back to the tuner. It's already got NLS, so I figured that nice short throw will make a big difference. But, um, yeah, the car's a little dirty. It's, obviously, it's winter. That's why I got these floor mats. See that shit? But that's what they usually look like. I'm about to take it to the car wash to get a little bath. But it looks like it's going to snow or rain. So we'll see what happens. But that's not what the video is about. So since I've last made a video, I installed... Let me think. I think the last video I did was about the coilovers, I think. So I did do the sway bar bushings um, on the stock bar. They, uh, well, I, and you can see how low it is now. A little bit of adjusting on those springs. So I'm, that's about as low as I can go around town without scraping everywhere. Um, added those lips on it. So, yeah, that's about it. I mean, I could tuck them. Uh, I'm getting a rear camber kit and rear toe adjustments and some cast, uh, camber plates for the front. So I'll do some videos on that later. But yeah, the sway bar bushings were, were definitely a pain in the butt when you have a stock mount or stock bar. Um, really, there's nothing to show. So I'm just going to speak while I show you the engine. Here you go, see? But um, yeah. I got the big ECS shield down there. That thing is like a quarter inch thick from the drop, so I so I don't you know bang up my oil pan. You can kind of see the silver down there. But anyway, back to the bushings. You have to drop the entire subframe. Um, it <laughs> it's really difficult um, to get out the sway bar bushings. You have to cut them off. Actually, here's the bushings over here. Once you drop the the the, uh, the subframe down, then you can pull the sway bar out. And in order to get the bushings off when I throw them, you literally have to cut the bracket in half just to get these things out. Because it's like I don't know what this is all about. Either that, or you can drill out this bolt. But I had a, cu a cutter, so bye bye bracket. I replaced it with a two-piece set, so next time I go to change out bushings, if I do, it should be much easier. Uh, they're polyurethane, so they should hold up much better. The, everything feels really good on this car, all the modifications and everything. A um, little bit of stylish stuff. I don't got two plates out here, so I got myself a two-step in MK5 plate. Some blackout side markers and a tow hook. Obviously, I had to modify here because those are these block it. So, a drill and some file and some patience got it pretty nice. Um, yeah, that's about it for now. Really, haven't done crazy much since the um, uh, the coilovers. But yeah, that sway bar is definitely difficult. Um, I recommend not using the OEM torque to wheel it. I'd suggest go buying some eight uh, grade eight bolts. That way, you know, because those little torque to yield bolts, they're just not long enough. You're going to need something a little bit longer so it actually will bite into the new, um, the new bushings or the new brackets so that it won't strip it out. I had... An unfortunate accident with these ones trying to use the stock ones and they're not long enough so they actually stripped this side out 
I decided to get new ones instead of go with this crappy fix. But yeah, get longer bolts. These ones are crap. I mean, they're for the original stock OE stuff. So I mean, if you're a pre replacing with original equipment, then yes. But I went with ECS and these bolts just are not long enough. Also, when you're retorquing the subframe, be very careful. It's aluminum and can strip out very easily. Um, I've heard about that, so I was very careful. I actually went a little under torque and I retorqued about 50 miles later. Um, sorry, I didn't get videos. Everything was really cold. It's, you know, getting late in the year. So hopefully I can get you some better videos, but this is just an update on the MK. Uh, so there she is. Rims will be coming on in the spring. I'm not quite sure what I'm getting, but there's going to be a big break hit. So stay tuned. Keep posting or keep watching or whatever you do. Just, you know, if you want to know more about this car, just stay tuned. All right. Thanks, guys.